Welcome back. I wish you could smell this at home. It's Wednesday, and that means we're cooking with Rainya. And today, Rainya is here with ideas for pie filled with farmer's market fruits and vegetables. What a neat idea. I know. I, I, I was proud of myself for coming up with it. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, a, a fruit pie, sure, in the summer. But as we transition into fall, you might want that heartier pie. Right. So I, I love a this idea. A vegetable pie. Yeah. Leslie would be proud of me, kind of, sort of, maybe a little. Well, how much butter is in that pan over there with the onions? Um, no, well, olive oil. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, so not so bad. <laughs> and actually, this, other than cheese and a little mayonnaise, which could be low fat. If you want. Well, I don't know. I, I, this is a stretch. Um, in any event, I think she's gone and out of the building, so she can't <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> so today, you're, for the first step, we're making a tomato and Vidalia right. onion pie. So let me tell you what we're going to do first. Okay. Sliced heirloom tomatoes. And you can do different colors if you want, but you want to slice them a little bit on the thick side. Okay. And now I am sprinkling them with salt. And the reason that I'm doing this is to draw out all of the juices from the tomatoes. Okay. So you kind of want to sort of put another paper towel. You see I have one underneath. And I have many layers of paper towels here on top. And just kind of push down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just to sort of extract some of the juices so Good. that it doesn't get too watery in the pie. Okay, so you can see right, right on top here, this has already started. Mm -hmm. Just ex just all of the juices are coming up, and we'll just let that sit, let for, it sit a for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I had to make a pie crust ahead of time. And what you do is you bake it blind. Have you ever done that? No, what does that mean? Without okay. anything in it? Right. Okay, so, yes, I have done that. So you roll it out. You can make your favorite pie dough. You can buy one. I don't care at this point. But the bottom line <laughs> is you need to bake it, pre-bake it. What you do is you take your dough, you put it in your pan, you crimp your edges, dock it a little bit with a fork, Put a nice big piece of foil, aluminum foil, right inside the cavity of the pan. And okay. I'll tell you what, I start off with a frozen shell. I'll stick it in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so. Get it good and hard. And then you fill that cavity that, that now you have your foil here with beans, like dried beans. Just to weigh it down so it doesn't pop right. up. Rice, okay. dry, uncooked rice. And then you want to follow the directions on our recipe and bake it blind just until it's set. Because if you don't, what happens is it shrinks. I see. Yeah, There's you nothing don't want... there to weight it down. Yeah. So that's called baking blind and your shell is all ready to rock and roll. You're Looks still great. trying to extract your juices here. Okay. And here what we have is our onion that we sauteed in a little bit of olive oil. I this love is sauteed a onions. This is Vidalia onion. This is a Vidalia onion. Now, let's just do a little switch here. Okay. What I have here is just about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. Low and, fat if you want. Yep. <laughs> Not that it matters when you see how much cheese. And here I have one. Whole okay. egg or is it an egg yolk? A whole egg. Okay. And I beat the egg a little bit to get it started. Okay. So it's, it's easier for me to go ahead and get the mayonnaise and the egg combined before I add the rest of the ingredients. Here, just one teaspoon of some cider vinegar, Ooh. just to give it a little bit of tang. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you some can put sauce. a little bit of hot sauce in. You want. I always want a little <laughs> bit of hot sauce. You, and it's up to you. You don't have to in this yeah. recipe. And then we have basil that's been chopped, fresh, all going to the farmer's market, right? You've Such got basil, idea. you can get parsley, you can get the onions, you can get the tomatoes in the pie. Here we've got some fresh thyme. Now, herbs are one thing that I actually grow in my garden. Used to grow tomatoes until I got a resident deer who decided oh. to go two years in a row straight down the line and take one bite out of every tomato. And then just I, one bite, huh? Didn't even take the whole thing. One bite. I, then I just gave up. This is Gruyere cheese. It's a wonderful nutty cheese. And I shredded it. Here's Parmesan. some Parmesan. And then here's some cheddar. Looks great. We okay. could just put that in the pie and just have a cheese pie. There you go. You could. <laughs> you could. So you mix all of these ingredients together. Okay. Okay. These look pretty good. Although all right. This, this great. little guy over here is not really. Yeah. That's okay. See, the bottoms are nice and wet. Yeah. It's really wet. 
So we actually did the job. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit of cornmeal, and I'll move this back over right here in the middle. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks, Heather. Just a little <laughs> bit of cornmeal. Again, it's sort of like a drying agent. Yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tomato slices. Layer them in there. Layer them in there. And then I'm going to put some onion on top. Okay. And then this, this stuff, huh? The fun stuff. At the end. Oh, at the end. Mm -hmm. I'm getting anxious for the cheese. Can oh. you tell? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and now a little bit more. I'll put the rest of the onions here. Okay. And then I'll add... The Your rest of my tomatoes. Okay. And now remember, folks, this is going to when it's it bakes, it'll really shrink, shrink. down. Yeah, yeah. These tomatoes are going to get smaller. That's right. Oh, this cheese now, is going to get all you, in there, isn't can it? Can you do that? I can. Oh, can I here? do it? Yes. There you go. Try yes, that. Yes, I can. Okay. So while you're doing that, baking directions are all there. Take a look at that. Wow. Oh, look at you. Look that at looks you. really look good, Rainia. All right, well, we are going to cut into this lovely onion and tomato pie. And when we come back, there'll be more cooking with Rainia after this. I love the way you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so nice.